Hey all, I'm Hummy at Hummy's World and it's been a while since I've done a layout tip video and I have a video here of my grandma with her um, first great-grandchild. It really just touches my heart. But um, the layout tips, there's some skills that are learned in course two in a little bit greater detail but I want to show and share with you um, how simple and quick it actually is to make elements go over and under each other um, especially when you're clustering you'll see here in this layout that I have um, three uh, clusters I have one here and one here and one here and each of them utilizes uh, Jody Ann's Jody Ann Sky Pie I keep calling her Jody Ann um, her uh, commercial use uh, velvet ribbons and I'm telling you this is going to be a hummy pick in the store um, I really really like these and I can see myself using them a lot um, for uh, those old time photos of my my grandmother and, and even my mother uh, because they kind of like to dress nice with velvet they just remind me of velvet people <laughs> and um, but she these are also for commercial use you can buy them and uh, make them into other elements for your kits and uh, recolor them or or whatever you need to do but even for personal use um, that's what I'm going to use them for uh, personal use and um, you can see the variety that she has here now let's first look at this cluster that I have going on here and we can zoom in um, you can observe that this is actually going partially under and partially over the ribbon now um, basically all I did was uh, to erase a little bit of the bow to get it to do that. You see it's under the ribbon over here and it looks like it's coming out and through the ribbon and over this one here. And so in order to do that let's um, unlock some of these layers. I'm gonna go ahead and just make this ribbon unvi invisible. I'm going to find that ribbon and bring it into my layout. Now when I did this, where'd it go? I of course you can see what a great quality this ribbon is. Even no blurring or anything down in there. And uh, I had to resize it down so I'm going to do that. And just imagine the placement of it course this one's going to be totally different uh, than the last one but how did I have that coming out of there I think I had it coming out had this about like that maybe I don't even remember so I just imagined this flower coming out of the bow and I resized it and placed it as such and now um, what I'm going to be doing is erasing this layer which is the bow layer but in order to do that I need to first get this layer here which is the flower layer and get a selection of it to do so I'm going to hold down the control key and click on that flower layer the thumbnail of the layer um, not over here on this uh, where the text is or anything but on the thumbnail of the layer here and you're gonna see it made marching ants then I'm gonna go back to this layer which is my ribbon layer and make sure that it's the active layer I can do that just by clicking on it I'm gonna get my eraser tool it's a default brush and settings and I'm gonna simply erase away uh, parts of the ribbon that I want to be going underneath the flowers and in that case it's all of this 
and because I have the flowers selected, that is all that is, uh, that's the only area that's being erased from the ribbon. And I'm going to be erasing this, all of this, because I want it to go on top of my ribbon too. And then when I'm done, I'm going to select Control D, and now just like that, I mean I need to put a drop shadow on, on it, let's do that. Just like that, I have that flower coming out of the hole in the ribbon and spilling out onto the top of the ribbon. So one side is underneath and one side's over. Let's go look at another one. This one was super simple. It, it might look complicated, but it's really super simple. You see how it's on top of the um, the uh, the flowers are on top of it here, and I actually have another flower here from Janet uh, B's uh, Timeless Modern Kit. The, everything else in this layout is from Janet B's Timeless Modern Kit, another great kit um, that you can find in the store. But let's go ahead and, um, as before, I'm going to unlink these so we can play. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn off that ribbon. And oh, in this case, I can't really show you how to do it, um, because I actually cut the flower instead of the ribbon. But it was the same principle where I did a selection of the ribbon, but this time I went to the flower layer and erased and as you can see there's where I erased it so it looks like it goes underneath the flower I left this one right here um, so that it was on top of the flower so that's basically all I did for that one to make it look and I rested this one in there to make that look like it's coming out of there simple 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 here's another one let's see which way we did this if you can see the flower looks like it's going underneath um, totally underneath over here and then uh, underneath this part and uh, coming out. So it looks like we're on the top here and on the top there but in the middle area it looks like it's coming through. So let me find and in this case I did the same thing. I don't have the the flowers handy but in this case it was just um, like the last one. I positioned the flowers just so on top of the ribbon and then I held down my control key and made a selection of the ribbon. Then I went to the flower layer and then with my eraser I carefully erased away that just erased a little bit too much. I had to be a little now I'm on the wrong layer. I believe it's this one. I just had to carefully erase away with my eraser just the section right in here of the flower. And it, um, as you can see, there it is erased away and it's on the layer on top. And so that is very simple and easy to do to uh, make a little bit of a clustering. Um, just imagine what parts are going underneath and um, make a selection of one layer and erase the layer on top. That's it and I hope you like this little quick tip.